Yeah, I'm looking for you. I'm cooking him. He's a little boy. I jump out the gym at some time. Uh, uh, how much is on it? Uh, it, it whatever. It's a lituation. I don't know what's going on with yeah. me. It's that funny because I can't go out. Welcome back to WSU Radio, the number one college radio station in New York City with your host, Introduct Kev, the number one college radio show in New York City. Today we have a very special guest, two actually, dropping his like two guns up, flaming part one and two, bunny the box and more. We got Nazi BK and we got Joe Benz in the building. Gang, gang, gang. Shame. I don't know vibes. How's it going? How's y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Hey, we good. We good, man. All right. So what part of the Bronx you guys are from? From the Bronx. I said, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm smack. No, uh, that was from 187. Yeah, yeah. 187. Yeah, wait, wait. I'll say it from the 150 and 3rd half, but I jacked the side. Heavy on the side. So, when I first heard about Nas, it was mostly basketball. You were nah, yeah. the <laughs> ball player. <laughs> nah, yeah, I ain't gonna so, lie. So, what positions did you play? I ain't gonna lie. I can play point guard, swing guard, small guard. Would you say you're the best one in the group? Like, out of my friends? Like, yeah. Joe, K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I'm not going to lie. K and them are dirt. I'm OC, I ain't going to lie. Y'all don't even know. They just shoot, bro. I got mad bounce. They're full team. So if it's a 1v1 between Nas. I'm going to cook him. He's a little boy. I jump out the gym at some time. How much is on it? Whatever. Either whatever, yeah. Whatever. That could be the next video. One on one. You're going to see. We're going to set that up. Live video that goes see me kill ABK now. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, you know, once you guys start becoming like mainstream and stuff like that, would you guys want like an industry girl like Ruby Rose or y'all want a low key girl? Nah, I'm, I'm taking my, my low key bomb. Yeah, I'm so, taking my low key bomb. I ain't bomb. trying to do that industry shit. I don't really like you girls that's like, random. The industry, industry girls, you already know how they be moving, bro. Yeah, I don't so got time. Fine. Industry nigga, another industry nigga, all the other heavy shit. I don't yeah. got time. Like, all my girls gotta have goals in life. Sure. All right. Like, and then when you guys go to the club, gang up, who's the littlest <laughs> one in the... Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Wait, 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 wait. I ain't gonna lie. The littlest out of all of us? No, oh, K-Flop. Yeah, my son K-Flop. You got right. dogs. Mm -hmm. You got up and coming right now. Set the trend. You got Nas. Everybody get their song. No. Everybody. Nah, they yeah. jack everybody. It's all I ain't gonna lie. We all want to go. They jack us. But like I said, just like one of us that would go, like I said, I said the trend would go by himself or I would go by myself. They just showing love, feel me? Right. Now I'm talking about, we all go together though. Everybody just know it's their own time. It's a lituation. Yeah. They know what's going on. Yeah. 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 The flock is in the spot. They know Sorry, what's going on. They really know what's going on. They know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. What inspired you guys to become rappers? Like, uh, what was this? Yeah. I always had a passion for music growing up. I used to like listen to like J. Cole, people like that, Kendrick. So for me, I just seen, I was watching like 2 G's in them. I seen how they did it. They just start rapping. I see they got lit. I'm like, nah. For me, then I seen K do it. K opened the doors for us. I ain't gonna no, lie. K woke up one day like, she, for she me, all guys, about to start rapping. And you see where he at. So mm -hmm. for me, that's how, I, that's how I started. No, the way how I started, I ain't gonna lie. It was just out of nowhere. Like, I was just like, fuck it. Like, let me just get in the booth. But I've been rapping and shit, but like, I was just never. Wanted to be a rapper. Like, I was a ball player and yeah. shit for me. I was in my image. But I've been new about gym music and shit. I used to bump man, Chicago gym and shit. So how did you feel like transitioning from your passion basketball to rap? It was just um like like life for me, shit what? going on for me and then shit just went everything just happened for a reason. Just put it at that for what? me. Like it wasn't like I was just a ball player. Like even though I was hooping, so I was still outside. Like just niggas just saying no for me. Like niggas what? like jail and all them no. I just get for me, even though I was hooping, I was outside. Oh, if, you know, you know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Right. I don't got to say that. much. That's, that's, why I let, that's why on the internet, I let niggas say what they say. Like, yeah. all right, you can keep calling me a boy player. Yeah, you right. Like, I don't got time. Do y'all remember your first studio session? Uh, uh, My first studio session was what? Set the Trend and Yagi B. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I, I think it was Jay Paddock and Juan Bills. For sure. No matter of fact, it was it was Yagi B and Set the Trend. That was my first studio session. Yeah, for sure. My right. first song I ever went up to. You know, family. That's family right there. For real. All right. And then my first studio session is that funny because I go like. No, I don't even really fuck them niggas like that no more. But for me, my first studio session was with, like you know CJ Goon yeah. and all of them. For me, yeah, though. Those niggas, I was chilling with them, feel me? And then 
I made a song with them, but that song's not coming out. But it's fire though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how did you guys meet? You um, know? I've been to jail before. Like Jo, know everybody from over there too. Like Jo used to come yeah, to the block all the time. He, he damn near family too. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Gangsta, that's what I say. Like, brother. it's just it's too much shit that's just going on right now. It's deeper than what it really seems. Yeah, we've been been like this since. Funny. What's the funniest story you guys have together? Oh, <laughs> we don't nice. get it. Nah, y'all yeah, give us oh, one story for the man. fans. Oh, but, man. Uh, oh, man. I don't even do that. It was the funniest nah. story, gang. Nah, we're not even going to talk about the crib situation. Nah. Nah, that shit had it. Nah, that's the funniest situation. I ain't nah, going to lie. That one got it. Look, we can talk about... I don't even really know to be honest. It's too many. Every day, 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 and then we were supposed to have every day, 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 every Basically, he was just feel me jacking my music and shit, and then he was just hitting me up one day like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie, feel me?" Because I never had a manager, so he was just like, "Yo, I'ma just be a manager. You already know what managers do, and then we just gonna go from there, feel me?" And plus, like another thing too, like him being my manager and shit, people probably would feel me. They don't even know what's going on. Like if you know, you know. But it's shit, I ain't even gotta say what. So feel me. And then, I just, did you knew when you first dropped Bunny in the Box, it was gonna go viral? Like how it went? Nah, I, ain't I told that. him. I, 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 ain't, I ain't really, I ain't really like. I just looked at it as my song, like I, mean, I, I didn't totally, care. But about yeah, it. If you see Blicky in the box, you saw how much how yeah, far yeah. that is. You already knew that. I like, know, I know, Bunny. Concept, and, uh, when he first when he came back from the studio, and I heard that, I was like, I told him, I'm like, nah, that one old D. I told him, I said that's old D. But he got a song before that that I was telling him that I like too. So it was like either way he went with either song. It was, I told him, like, yeah. you're, going, you're going to blow. Like, they're going to jack it. You already got the clout on the gram. You feel me? People going to tune in. And right. they see who you with now. They see who you're around. They see what's going on. Stuff so you know they really going to tune in. You feel me? That's how I already yeah. know. And then your, one of your first songs is Flaming Part 1. Yeah. And then now you're about to drop a song soon with Ja Finesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, that's my boy. How did you feel you grew as an artist? Uh, at first... At first, I'm gonna be honest with you, I ain't really care about it. Like I was just like, right, I'm just do this for fun. I'm doing it for fun, I'm doing it for fun. But then now, like as I got as I kept going to the studio, I see like every time I went, I got better and better. More people start jacking me, everybody started from me tuning in. So now, like now I got a lot of people texting me like, oh, drop music, drop music, right for me. So that's how I already knew. I'm like, all right, about to lock in. So real soon, I got some for y'all real soon. Just know that. All right. Um, how would you guys describe your sound? Mm. My sound, like, I'm still trying to find, like, I, yeah, I'm like still trying to find my sound. Like, I just, mm. I only got three songs out. So, I mean, right. I've probably made, like, six, seven songs in total. And I just be stashing them. Like, I don't know why. Whenever I just drop a song, <laughs> anyway, right. Jack is lit. Feel me? So, yeah, feel me? Nice. I barely, you can ask them, I barely have songs. I just be oh, making them and then drop. Yeah. Right. Feel me? Like, that's just what I, that's what I'm going about. But sooner or later, I'm going to rack up on songs where I could just, feel me? But I don't really got my sound. Like, you see it two guns up, I lost my voice. But I, I made that song, like, cause just because I didn't want to waste the time in the studio, and it came out like that. Then Bunny in the Box is a different flow. Then you see OYK was a different flow again. So it's like, I don't really know where my sound is at yet, but I'm just dropping whatever sound fire. Right? Oh, and Jay, what you think? Oh, man. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've... Nah, I'm getting there. I'm close. I'm close. That's all for me, so... All I can tell you, time to tell. All right. What do you guys think is more important than the flow or what you say in the song? The flow. The yeah, flow yeah. is everything. The flow, because I know a couple people. I know that, people that, that say just, anything. That say word too. Like, and, and I used to be like, yo. Jack <laughs> I'm like, yo. <laughs> it's wrong. Like, I think I said yeah, all the time. It got it. I ain't going to Flow. But you got to have both, though. You got to have you yeah, gotta yeah. be able to have the flow and able to say stuff. Say stuff. Mm -hmm. But it just can't just go no flow. You just saying BS, like. Why are you not going to really tour, man? And, and speaking about lyrics and saying, yeah. like, you don't want to speak no BS, yeah. what do you guys think is your best verse? Best verse. Uh, best verse. My best verse? I don't even know right now. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Mm -hmm. My best verse probably, probably go, I don't know. 
<laughs> I, don't know. I know you're not. So far off for me, my my best verses gotta be on Bunny in the Box for sure. Yeah. Cause that song I was more for me lyrical and shit. It was more shit like for me that I was saying. Probably yeah. like the uh, I don't know, but you really gotta catch it. It's it's something like if you listen to Bunny in the Box in certain lines that you really gotta think like, oh nah, I ain't bad for me. So I'll just say that it's in that song. I don't know to be honest, but I know it's in that song. And then you only drop three songs, and you have six, seven songs. How do you decide which songs you want to drop and which songs you want to keep in the stash? Um, it was basically like an order, because basically Bunny in the Box, when I made that, I only had two songs, which was Two Guns Up and Bunny in the Box. But everybody's telling me to drop Bunny in the Box first. So I dropped Bunny in the Box. Then I knew Two Guns Up was second. Then the third song with the OYK, I made one song after that, and then I just made OYK, and the OYK sound better than that, so I just dropped it. But now it's like... You see, like, I ain't dropping nothing yet. Like, now I could choose. At that time, I couldn't choose. I was just dropping whatever I made that day in the studio. You get what I'm trying to say? So, but now I could choose. I got, like, a, three songs I could choose from. Do you always want to continue to be doing your drill music, or do you want to tap into, like, a different type of sound? Um, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to, like, figure out right now. Like, I could fit going some Sleepy Chef G type, but I'm not feeling that. Like, I'm trying to go for melodic, because right. I know I could... Try the shit like, like people don't think. Yeah, like, I'm trying to go a uh, longevity for me. Yeah. Rap. I'm not trying to be you know just just now or just lit for the moment. You got what I'm trying to say? Probably be thirty something still making music. You know what I'm trying to say? Like I'm trying to be one of those things. Right. I'm not trying to be you know temporary shit like the drill rap. I'm just doing it now because it's lit. It's right. driving everybody eyes. By the time I have, by the time I try to switch up, I'm gonna have like fifty k on the gram. Everything I drop is gonna be live after that. Yeah. So it's like, do you feel I'm like just, the drill's gonna die? For sure, I ain't gonna lie. Like every borough is like that though. You seen BK? I, like sooner or later, people gonna get tired of hearing Chicago. about us. Like Chicago, Chicago had a, yeah, they, they faked that out. But then you see Little Dirk switched it up. Yeah, and King Vaughn, but King Vaughn still drew driver. But the way how he was doing it, it yeah, was like it's different. It's like it's not the same as all them other niggas was doing. You gotta try to say. So it's like. For me, it's a certain shit you got to catch on. Like, I'm just thinking about the ahead of time, long distance shit. Like, I could give a fuck right now about the drill rap. Like, sooner or later, I know I'm going to stop. Like, you know, everybody going to get tired of hearing this kid name or me. Yeah. You feel me? Like, they going to want to hear. Like, I talk about, like, I've been through mad shit in life. Feel me? Like, like you said, basketball, I can start bringing real shit that really happened in life through melodic. Like, that's going to be the long distance shit. I already know how that's And then for. being through so much and all that, what do you think was the biggest life lesson you learned? Um, I don't really trust oh, niggas. Like that. That's one thing. The biggest life lesson for me is just uh, move how you move. Feel me? Get it how you get it. Don't depend on nobody. And don't cherish really, the ones you really, love. Yeah, gangster. Don't really you trust cherish the one you love. And just watch your back, to be honest. Right. Okay, so. And then, you know, a lot of rappers do it, but, you know, it's, sometimes it has a meaning. I want to know, what's the meaning behind the face tag? Oh, um, that's my grandma name. Grandma name? Um, yeah. So I just got it up there for him. All right, all right. And then, you know, I've seen that you've done music with basically Set the Trend. You know, you've done a song with Jaffa Ness. Who else would you want to do music with? It doesn't have to be in New York. Mm-hmm. It could be like... Um, so far right now, a couple of features that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to do some, do a song with Dougie. And then I got a couple songs I'm supposed to be kind of like jail. I ain't going to have some songs they want me to hop on. Y'all got a, y'all got a couple of features. Like, I don't got no features out. That's one thing. But I'm about to start hopping on songs and stuff, for me, with the bros, for me. It's mainly gonna be like features with the bros. Like I don't, really, I'm not really looking forward to no outsiders. Outsiders, cause right now it's too much going on. Like yeah, you man. don't know who to trust. There's mad extra shit going on. Like for me, I already know, and one I know mom, me. The way how mom's, I move is crazy. You feel me? One of mine's gonna be, of course, my little brother Chevy Love. Nah, and yeah. Love. Uh, that's but that's yeah, guaranteed. Like that's my nice, yeah. yeah, yeah that's my right hand man. Slept on New York City. You're supposed yeah. to pull up. Yeah, he's supposed so to be my, here. I don't know why he's not here, yeah. but I got to do one with Chevy Love. That's one of my, for me, one yeah, of the yeah, tops yeah. on my list. If, nah, that's it. Dude. Yeah, Chevy, Chevy Love right now. Yeah, that, that's, 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 that's another thing, too. Like, we see how I say I'm trying to go to the melodic shit. Like, I already know. You see how Chevy sound, like, it's going to, for me, I'm going to make songs with Chevy. It's going to get, they don't know. But sooner or later, that, that boy going to pop. Yeah, yeah. Right, he he used to go by the name Prince Three AG. Yeah, they don't even know. Like it's just too much shit. Right, they gonna see. Right. And if someone wants to do a song with Nas, he became Jail Bands. Joe, what what y'all taxing? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I need fifteen hundred. I ain't gonna lie. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred a feature. Feel me? But if you older than thirty, you know vibes. Yeah. I, need, I need five bands. Feel yeah. me? Something like that. I'm not jacking. Feel me? Like, 
Unless no, you man. one of them guys like Drake or something other than that, it's quiet. It depends on it depends on if I fuck with the song. If I fuck with the song yeah. and I fuck with you, then you know I'm gonna hop on that for free. But if it's not that good, you want me on it? And you know, probably like a little six on it. So like that. I ain't gonna tax, I don't tax. Yeah, like if you wanted to if you wanted to like I'm not gonna say the bros, like you know what I'm trying to say, like certain niggas that's close or that like you, or that try to associate like, or that you know associate for me. Yeah. Like I'm not gonna say fifteen hundred. I'm probably like depending on the song like he said for me, I'll probably lower it down. I'm not gonna tell nobody nothing like that. But yeah, yeah, at this vibe. point, like see the see the views was going on, like I can't just be making songs to anybody. So just out of the respect, like some people just gotta for me. Gotta do it. Yeah, you got a jacket. Yeah, yeah, I got on. Do you guys freestyle your songs or do you um write? It depends. <laughs> it depends on, on what type of song. So for me, most of the time, nigga just go in the stool. From just go in the booth, just say stuff, punching, go back in, say it again, punching, you know, regular shit. But uh, if it's a song, song like I want to like really make, now I'll listen to the beat. I'll write something down. But, mm. O R K. I just that shit is a freestyle. I walked in there, I did that. Then Southern Trump was just saying it. Like, it was like that song was not even playing. Like, I just did it, had the beat there, feel me? I made it in my verse. Southern Trump was just saying it. I was like, yo, bro, it's going to booth. Freestyle that whole song, too. And look, we live right now for a freestyle. But Bunny in the Box, I freestyled like half the song. And then some of us ran down. And then Two Guns Up, that whole song was a freestyle. There's a couple of songs that I got just as a freestyle. My next song is just a freestyle. All right. And do you think as the collective, you know, with all you guys, you guys are the hottest group in the Bronx? Yeah, definitely, like, definitely. New York, of course, of course. Definitely, we got, Thanks, we got the, we got the, we got the. I don't even care. Fuck Bronx. We got New York live right now. Oh, I ain't like it. City, I ain't and so we're well, starting to see Facebook statuses like, "Yo, not New York drill Man, until ah uh, ah," uh, and it's like, we fake the like certain niggas just fake the new rappers. So they like they already yeah. know it from this side. So it's like, yeah, we we got oh, it right now. No we got everybody oh. tuning in. Like, <laughs> What well, what made you guys realize you could, you guys could turn rapping into a career? Was it like the first hundred K, first paycheck? Um uh, first hundred K. I'm about to say probably first hundred K. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, I bet hundred K, I'm like, oh nah. I'm like, nah, we about to go up. Then I just I from there I just knew like I'm like, all right, for me, you know, you bullshit with this shit. Um, I'll probably say yeah, the first, like, no, nah, I'm not even going to say that guy. First, when I first seen Bunny Box going viral, I ain't really care. Two Guns Up, I ain't really care. But now that I see, like, I dropped OYK, that shit going crazy. Or I just did number two on Talking to Town and shit. I'm like, nah, I could probably really do some of this rap shit. And then his record labels emailing me and shit, feel me? Like, I'm like, nah, like, niggas can really go far. And a perfect example, I, niggas was on a block the other day. Niggas pull out, pull up to the, to the block. Nigga, KK outside with... AMGs, all types of shit. Wow. Yo, this is just a yeah, movie. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, you being honest, when I dropped, yo, it's like a lot, like, for me, I never yeah, seen that in the hood before, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, I never even, no, no, for me, no, seen, like, how everything, like, they really had video grow up, like, they had, yo, I was just like, I'm like, no, nah, like, that one time. That's my first time ever seen that in my life, in a block, in the hood, down, like, and I'm just like, nah, like, bro, I'm really about to make it, like, for me, like, niggas is in a block, Doing this, we got videographers, all types of shit, people in trailers, all type, bro. I was just like, nah, I ain't gonna lie. That was tight. Feel me? They was doing everything for that video. Like, you know how, like, usually you book a videographer and shit? They, it was a record label, like, had the videograph pull up. They had some shit, all types Sunscreen, of extra shit. Sunscreen, shit. Sunscreen, yeah, yeah. So, what my different. mother? I'm like, nah, never like seen nothing like that in my life. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. All right, so. Um, how, what type of advice do you want to give to the kids? You know, they look up to you guys now, seeing you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, stay in school. Yeah, man, so really stay, stay in positive, school, man. man. Stay, stay in school. Positive. Stay in school. For me, playing ball, keep playing ball, do make it do. far. Do what you do. Don't try to fit in. Don't, don't try let to do it, don't crazy. Let it fool you. Like, for you, like everything, like. Just because niggas, like, I ain't gonna lie, I never just chose to just jump into the streets for me. It was just, uh, way I'm not about that. The most, the most gangster thing, okay, the most gangster thing somebody could do graduate. is graduate. Graduate. Uh, gangster. I graduated. Gangster. A lot of, a lot of my mates graduated school. Facts. Yeah, so that's the most gangster thing. Nah, graduate. Right. Get through high school. That's the first thing you gotta do. Right. Graduate. Make mama proud. What has been the best experience so far as a rapper? 
Mm. Where niggas went down to town, like, cause, uh, <laughs> yeah, they was acting crazy. <laughs> nah, that, that's, that's another thing, too. Not even just downtown. Like, there's certain places where I just be going and just people just be staying at me. I'm like, yo, like, I'm a, I'm a nigga that get tight. Like, for me, I'm a nigga that get mad quick. I do all the extra, for me. But I'm just like, yo, what you looking at? Like, I'll be really tight. I ask telling people, but then I'll be forgetting sometimes, like, who I am and shit. So people just random people pull up on me, try to take pictures with me and shit. Like that's probably the fun part about it. And kids, that's a favorite part too. Like I like taking pictures with little kids, talk to them, just make them do right in life. Ah, uh, and shit like yeah, that. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the favorite that's part about everything. Like that's, the, that's my favorite. I could thing. care less about the money and all that. Just fans, seeing fans, so like everybody supporting me and shit. And I'm for me, that shit crazy to me. And what do you guys want to achieve by the end of the year? By December twenty twenty one, what does Nas and Joe need to accomplish? Oh, right now, what do I need to call? It's a lot. It's a lot. That's we gotta do. We gotta do a lot. It's a lot. We gotta. It's a lot that we ain't achieved yet. I gotta. I gotta. You can't be happy till we hit that mill. That's another thing too. I said need a mill first. Yeah, I probably. That's probably the first thing I want to do. Get a get a mill before this. At least on one of my videos. At least on one of my videos, I get a mill for me. That's what I for me. I'll be like, nah, let's keep going, okay. And that's when I'm gonna know, like, for me. Cause watch it, I'm gonna see. Bro already got a couple mails. He dropped that being honest. Dolly. That's watch how much that's gonna do. Uh, I guarantee you, just off of how that I was watching how that video was. Yeah, that's a fact. Shout and shout out to B Love. Mm-hmm. If you uh, know, you know. So I don't get it. Know by yourself. Okay. All right. So this is my last question. I always ask this question to everyone. You know, I ask to set the trend. And that, what type of legacy you guys want to have with the name Nazi BK and J O Bands? When y'all, when they bring up y'all names, what should they associate with it? <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie. it's a lot, but feel me, I ain't gonna lie. Just they know, like feel me, like when you hit Nazi VK, you already know, like they, you 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 gonna know what type of legacy they gonna see and shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna they lie, but, but the legacy man, they gotta just nah, they gotta man. put us down as the, the realest. Truthless. They, they gotta know, like, word. Same shit for me. I don't even gotta, gotta say know. much. Just if you know, you know. Yeah, I know I, we trenched out, man. They, gonna, they already know what it's here for. Like, yeah. once they hear Nazi BK, they, they like, know, man. That's why I want them right. to know. That's what that's it, really, for me. Alright. Okay. Right. Right. So, where people can find you guys, like, socials, what's your socials? Um, IG Nazi BK3. And then my Facebook is Nazi BK, but I don't really be on that shit. And then my Snapchat got deleted. <laughs> nah, it's like a Snapchat. Nah, nah they know me. I seen y'all post that. He's gotta yeah, follow yeah. me on the follow me on the gram. J O Benz underscore one eight seven. And on Facebook, y'all right know. I ain't gonna say the name, but y'all know the name. Word. Know. Federal. Yeah. Uh, and federal, yeah, respectfully. It's my, my older brother, for me. Yeah. Uh, Can you shout, shout out? Six, shout man. out, Mom. Yeah. Six, man. Two on the scores at the end. You about to drop a song soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another one. That's why I got to tell y'all. That's another one. That's another feature. Next one. 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 Next